to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Mm, eggs cracked, but now. Jo- Jonas, it's March. Is it? It is. It's officially March now. Yes, sir. And we went all of a Black History Month without talking about anything Black History oriented. So, Jonas, I'm going to ask you today: Who's your favorite figure in Black History? Um, let's took see. you too long. I'm sorry. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have your favorite Black History person on deck. I will. I'm no longer your friend. I'm offended. No, I like this question. I think. Hmm. I think probably. I, I really I swear, love... I swear to God, if you say Jay-Z, I'm walking <laughs> off the Kanye. Side. No, I really... <laughs> Kanye! Uh, I really appreciate what Martin Luther King did. Okay, fair enough. Martin Luther Jr., I guess. That's, that's, that's kind of a cop-out answer, but I'm going to let you have it. It is. But, but, like, as far... I mean, but, like, if you think about, like, the impact and, like, uh-huh. what he did for people in general like yeah, i mean yeah definitely that's like me walking up to to like a, a 14 year old me like who's your favorite basketball player and him saying michael jordan i'm like oh well, fine whatever <laughs> sure <laughs> did I you guess. just ask me who my favorite black person was <laughs> <laughs> i haven't gotten there yet <laughs> all right <laughs> oh, <you're> like, <laughs> surprise question two all right jonas uh who what is your favorite semi-offensive black joke one that would <laughs> Well, no, we didn't get what is something that you would love to say racist that you've never said before? Oh, we ain't got there yet. <laughs> what is your favorite racial slur, Jonas? Ooh, I've out. been sitting in my bedroom practicing these. Spell it out using only consonants. Starts with a Z. Oh, there's one. There's one. <laughs> is there? You a- know what's freaking funny jonas is like seriously this is like one of those okay so look I, I, like a lot of people have like you know some difficulty understanding with like the, the black experience in america or whatever. <laughs> right it was hilarious to me that i went on to racial slurs and there's like one on like a wikipedia for them like, oh really there literally is for oh, like wow okay all racial slurs so think, I, wait, hold on right there. Things that someone who is not white can't go <laughs> who can easily look up on the internet. If they look at my search history and I'm looking up like the, the racial slur database, <laughs> they're gonna be like, <laughs> What is this guy doing trying to find a new way to hate? Anyways, I mean, <laughs> whatever. So you're like, I'm on so the I racial go slur it, and, it, it ha- and it has them alphabetized A to Z. Oh, wow. Someone's taking time to really, really uh, sort out the slurs for everybody. I thought that was amazing. So I started going through them because I'm like, man, maybe I can pick up some new ones. (laughs) I'm, you know, I'm tired of the slurs that I use day to day. I need some better slurs. (laughs) I didn't know I was a dirty goy. Anyway. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that means. I feel proud that you could probably go through those and I wouldn't know half of them. (laughs) You probably wouldn't. Yeah. But the thing that got me is that. For every single letter of the alphabet, there was there was a racial slur for black people. Really? I swear like, to God, I think the only one X? that might have been left out was yeah. Because like, say. there's not a lot of word. There like, what are you gonna do? Call somebody a xylophone, and you're like, oh. I <laughs> like, think there was X, and I think there was one for Q for sure. I think it was like X and, and maybe Z, but I think there was even one for Z. To be honest with you, dude, that's, that's it was of, nuts to me. I was just like, holy shit! And you know. That at some point, someone who was fighting for their heritage was sitting out there being like, you know what, I could, co- I could come up with a word starting with Z to really get some hate out of here. <laughs> you know, I'm tired of using the words with the A and the B and the C. I want to I wanna get a zinger, a real zinger with a Z on them, you know? What, what, what's the Ku Klux Klan uh, alphabet look like? <laughs> An alphabet book, Dr. Seuss? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Teach I, your kids the letters he, he, of the alphabet. Yeah, yeah, the hate edition. <laughs> C is for coon. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. I just thought it was raccoon, Jonas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other one. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I thought that was interesting. You know, that's the kind of stuff I used to look up and, you know, you go down a rabbit hole. You know, oh, I mean, I don't ever go down that rabbit hole because I, I would get put on a list probably. Well, You've been down some rabbit holes, some questionable not, rabbit holes. Not racial slur data <laughs> rabbit holes. Absolutely not. What kind of rabbit holes do you get down? Uh, what are I they? know what you into. Yeah. I know what you're into. Um, What kind of rabbit holes? And I don't really go down those rabbit holes, by the way. Gee. Um, 
I don't know. Usually it's like if I go down ra- – I don't go down rabbit holes too often <coughs> because like <clears throat> my curiosity is very – I have lots of curiosity. But not but, attention span. That's probably part of it. Yeah. But I, I, I but suffer like, from but that. But I also well. feel satiated fairly quickly. Like if I'm just like, man, I wonder what the use of this is, like this product or whatever. And I look and I'm like, oh, it does this. Yeah. And that's I, that's usually where I end it. I'm not like, well, where's the history of it? What did it come from? How did it become a thing? Who used it in the past? Like, and I know some people dive like deep dive into anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I definitely got into like uh I got into like the health conscious rabbit hole where I was like, all right, what do I need to do to improve? What do I, you know, what, what pills should I be taking? What exercises should I be doing? What supplements should I be ingesting? Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, but you know what rabbit hole I've been down for about a year now is how to gay sex. better my, yes. Not gay sex. No, nope, no. Nope. Okay. I, I quit that sure. one. That was years ago. Uh, What's wrong with being, no. who's your favorite gay actor? I'm sorry. Finish your statement. Uh, <laughs> mental health. Mental health. Mental health and self-improvement right. has been the rabbit hole that I've been down for a while. And that's actually not a bad rabbit hole to go down. It's very self-awareness. Yeah. And then uh, self-improvement is like right. it's a very powerful tool. Being aware of your deficits and what you're doing that are like actually inhibiting your life. Yeah. And then working on trying to change that. Like, yeah, that's a good rabbit hole. Like the health rabbit hole, right? You're that's like, fair. That's hey, fair. I'm eating like crap. I'm not taking vitamins, whatever. Like how should I do Get healthy. Do you think that just like being mad gay would help your mental health at all? What is up with you and homosexuality right now? <laughs> be, I'm just be, asking be a question. Mad gay. What's the difference between gay and mad gay? Like just I don't know. Angry? Just You're like, just out there screaming at people like, you know, about how much you love guys. Like I walk out in the living room and it's just you and a bunch of dudes hanging on the couch with your shirts off, Some not guys touching. Do that. What's that? Some guys hang out and just like I've I've had people that I've known that like just like being around without their shirt on. And I, I don't. What is up with that shirts off friend? I don't know, that, dude. That person exists. Yeah, and I get it if you're like outside, right? And it's hot. Yeah, like yeah, take your shirt off, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like, there's people I know that inside will not have a shirt. Like just hanging out, they're just in like shirt off. Yeah, yeah. I know, like like bigger guys. Like it's not even like about it's not like, even like fit. It's not like, hey, I got a nice body. I'm just going to have my shirt off because I worked hard for it or something. And that's kind of like, I understand, but chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, get out of here, Fabio. <laughs> but, like, yeah, the big guy who has a shirt off. I, I just don't understand the shirt off guy. I don't understand that guy. You know what I... All the time? No. Yeah, I don't I don't like you. I've, I've never really been that guy. Like, I, I don't know. Who's just... your favorite uh, black man with a shirt off, Jonas? <laughs> uh, Tyrese. <laughs> okay, <laughs> actually know. a good choice. I would have also accepted D'Angelo. Oh, is he is he fit? <laughs> is he cut? Is he all rock hard abs? And, and now we got to take points off because you don't know who D'Angelo is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he looks like. I know who he is. I know he sings music. I just don't know who he is. He was the guy that did the How Does It Feel music video. He had a shirt off the entire oh, thing, no and the idea. camera just panned over his chiseled abs and oh, chest the I, entire video. I don't know. Is that the same guy, D'Angelo, from back in the day? I mean, yeah, like the, the uh, what was that sugar song? Was that the guy? Yeah, who, that's, that's the same that's D'Angelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. what was that song? I can't remember it. What I it was? Don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I used to have the CD when CDs were I, uh, relevant. I I wanted to bring one more thing up because you were talking about having shirt off and being fit and it doesn't matter or whatever. If, yeah. I, something that came up in my head. I, I was reading something yesterday and I came across this. Somebody on Reddit had put a post something about how um they're they're very picky when they're on like dating sites and stuff and they feel bad because they're not attracted to like bigger body types or whatever. Right. And they're like, I can't help it. I'm just not attracted to that or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and like people in the comments, some people were understanding some people were like, but, but even people in the comments are like, Hey, as a bigger person, I get it. The last thing I would want is for you to date me when you're not attracted to me. Like I'd rather whatever. And that's okay. And somebody else in the comments says something that I'd never thought of before. And it makes a lot of sense. And he goes, I'm, I'm a really fit guy. I spend a lot of time eating and going to the gym. He goes, it's not about me not being attracted to someone. It's that my lifestyle is so different than someone's lifestyle who is bigger. Nah, and if I, if I spend a lot of my time in the gym cooking, eating healthy, and then I'm dating someone who eats out all the time and nah. doesn't care about nah. going and being active and da-da-da, nah. it's about lifestyle differences, not about the... Nah. That's a cop out. That's a bullshit cop out. Because honestly, you don't share that much of a lifestyle with the chick that you're dating. Majority I of the extremely time. disagree. 
Because I mean, it, maybe it, for a successful relationship, and maybe maybe that's my folly. But as far as I can tell, it's like I don't see why two people couldn't lead two different, totally different lifestyles. And- but when it comes to eating and health, it's, it's because no, because here's the thing: like I oh, have, I have mean? been with people who all they want to do is go out and eat. Go out to dinner, go out to this, go out yeah, to this, yeah, and like, and if they're constantly going to McDonald's yeah, and Arby's, and, you. Yeah. right, hundred percent, because you're like, oh, I guess I'll grab something at Wendy's, and like when you never ate Wendy's before, yeah, that's a social thing. And to be completely honest, I think I've been that person to people before, and I feel bad about it because I'm the guy mm. who was always like, let's go to Taco Bell, and they're like, I've never eaten Taco Bell this much in my life, yeah, okay. you know, okay. you know. So I feel okay. the opposite, of that. but but I find that with myself now that like now that I've like changed my eating habits and I'm trying not to eat bad and whatever. Like if I was if I was to start dating someone who had no health conscious mindset at all, yeah. I, I just don't think it would work because it would make me fall back into old habits. Yeah. Okay. So, I, anyways, I feel that, that. and that's the point I guess I was trying to make. I, I still feel like there's exceptions to the rule, and as long as you're cognizant as to not affect your other your uh, significant other's lifestyle then you, yeah. you can make it work i think you could date but you couldn't live together yeah and trust me there's lots of hot girls out there that like big dudes all right mm-hmm. i've never and had vice versa trouble. like yeah yeah exactly exactly yeah dude i mean it's it's not about yeah there's there it's there's a gambit so yeah. anyways if you're fat call me <laughs> got you i got you <laughs> That's all the time we have today. Go to crazetown.com for Jonas. No salads. TNT Dynamite. <laughs> Hashtag no salads. We out. <laughs>